The question is from Sarah Shapes Up. What are your best mindset tips and tricks to sticking with a diet plan when cravings are hitting? Oh, those cravings. Ooh. Okay, so I, I'm glad that she used the word mindset, okay, because it is a mindset. Now, I, I don't like the tips and tricks part because at some point you have to change. Are you really going to trick yourself like, no. like all the time? No. no. You know when we trick ourselves to do the shit, the, the opposite, like to trick ourselves. Yeah, exactly, to yeah. Um, it, it is a mindset. You have to shift your mindset. Here's something that might help you, okay? Realize that a craving means something different than a want, okay? So I'm craving that that cupcake. Doesn't necessarily mean I, I want to eat that cupcake. It just means that I'm acknowledging that it'll taste good and it's going to be pleasurable to eat. But when I weigh it in with everything else, the fact that that cupcake isn't really going to be good for me, I'm trying to get a little bit leaner or I'm trying to get healthier or that cupcake is going to bother my digestion. It's going to give me heartburn um, or I'm just not going to feel good. When you add all that up, then I can look at the cupcake and say, wow, I'm craving the taste of that cupcake, but I really don't want it. I don't want that cupcake. It's a totally different mindset, but it makes it a lot easier. It's a lot easier when you're when you get offered food or when there's food in front of you. Rather than saying, I can't eat that, saying, I don't want to eat that, but also acknowledging, because there's, there's a duality here, you have to acknowledge that you would enjoy the taste and the flavor of eating that food. Because I think sometimes when people say, they, they say to me, I can't say I don't want it because I do. I'd be live, lying. I say, no, 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 it's not the same. You acknowledge that you'd enjoy, look, it's like being, it's like being in, a, in a committed relationship and you meet an attractive person. And you think to yourself, like, wow, that person's really sexy. Yeah. Does that mean you, you want to sleep with him? No. It means you acknowledge that. It'll probably be, oh, yeah, I'm sure I'd enjoy that. But I don't want to because I'm committed. And that's not something that I really want to do. It's the same thing. That's the mindset that you need to go into with your nutrition is that you're making those kinds of decisions because if it becomes a, I can't, I'm craving it, but I need to uh, restrict myself. Oh, you're going to be, in, you're, you'll lose at some point. I don't mind. I don't mind tips and tricks. Uh, but I do agree that the, the number one thing is awareness. Uh, you have to, you have to become aware and that's all you're talking about right now is, is, is aware of what's, what's really going on and you know, what, why do I want this or feel like I want this? And, and that 100% uh, is for sure. But that doesn't mean that I, I don't think there's things that I've done, uh, that would fall in the category of, of tips or tricks to, to help me stick to routine. One of them, an example, and this is where I'm like things like weighing and measuring food and portioning it out. Uh, because just behaviorally, I know myself, I know clients. And when you sit at a table and things are in a giant bowl with a big you know, spoon in there to spoon it out onto your plate, uh, you know, most people grossly underestimate. They, oh, that looks like about six ounces, or oh, that looks like about my cup of rice I should be having. Yeah, you ever see someone weigh out like a tablespoon of peanut butter? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Exactly. That's not a tablespoon. Bro. Right, that's like four <laughs> tablespoons <laughs> yeah. of peanut. That's a great. That's a great example. So, this is where I think you know portioning your food out. This is I. I, I had a ton of success competing when this stuff really mattered, when I had to be like precise and I, and I had to stick to a diet. If I didn't stick to a diet, then I would lose. Right. So, you know, one of the number one things to make sure I had success was portioning out my food. I have a, a prep day on Sundays. I would make most all the meals that I'd be consuming for the week. It would be already weighed and measured. It would be in Tupperware. So all I had to do was heat it up and eat it. And when I was done, I was done. It wasn't like, oh, I think I'm still hungry a little bit, or oh, let me have this else, or or in between meals going like, oh, I feel like a snack. Like there was no such thing as snacks, just incomplete meals. It was, I got a meal, and then when I'm hungry, I eat the next meal that I've prepared mm -hmm. for myself. When I eat all the meals, I'm out of meals. I'm done. So, you know, that to me is a is a great tip or trick for people that are trying to stick to a diet and they want to be consistent with it. Another thing that I find. Uh, like, and this is going back to like the mindset, uh, like Sal was talking about, I don't like saying you can't have things. Uh, but if I was going to go have something that I know, like, you know, chips or nuts or, you know, some sort of a sweet treat that I know that I could easily just keep digging my hand into it. I'm very aware of, uh, if I'm doing it in front of a television and I used to have those little, uh, and they're like the little, you know, couple ounce, maybe two, three ounce Ziploc bags are real small. Oh, yeah, yeah, skinny ones. And I would go, when I would get a, you know, handful, instead of just getting, grabbing in, in the box or grabbing in the jar and eating out of the jar while you're watching, I would go portion out, 
you know, the the treat or the thing that I wanted to have and control it in the Ziploc bag. And then I, if I'm going to go walk and do that in front of the television or have it later on, I know that once I eat that one ounce of nuts or whatever it is that I, I've put in there, I'm done. It's because it's in this little Ziploc bag. So these are things that I, I think that have really helped me. I also like if you know if i have a client i always ask like what types of things do they do they crave or they they gravitate towards when they when they overeat like what are you a sweet eater are you a salt person and so figuring those things out and there's i mean god with instagram and pinterest and, and the internet now there's it's so easy to find uh, healthy alternatives. Um, Sal, I know you've made this. I used to do this all the time. I watch. I, mean, I think you posted it on your Instagram not that long ago. But you know, I used to make this rice cake with a, a Greek yogurt over it, sliced up strawberries, mm -hmm. and you know, you could even do like a, ha a tablespoon of Nutella or something on there and make this like strawberry short, and it tastes amazing. So when I have a sweet craving, you know, I would eat alternatives like that. And that's extremely lower in calorie in comparison to what you're going to get that's you, processed. You, you know what I'm thinking about uh, as I'm thinking about this question? It's, uh, it reminds me, I, sometime, every once in a while I would get a client that would get, would be so uncomfortable with the pain of working out. Like we'd be doing reps and they just, because they'd never exercised before. Do you guys ever get clients like this? Mm -hmm. they, yeah. They'd never exercised yeah, they before. Think it, they think it got hurt. It's like, oh my God, I can't uh, anymore. Oh, you know. Uh, and, and But over time, as you train this person for months and months, they start to get used to and then comfortable with the uncomfortable feeling of working right. out. Like I've been working out forever. I am very comfortable with the feeling of doing reps so they burn and to the pump and you know that 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 feeling to me is it's still uncomfortable but my mindset around it has completely changed to where I'm comfortable with it and what's funny about this question is when you think about this like yeah it's the same with hunger yeah we're so uncomfortable we're, i mean we're so fearful of uncomfortable feelings and being hungry or having a craving can be uncomfortable but i think if you sit with it for a little bit uh, sit with it for a little while let yourself feel it don't deny it don't no, no. ignore it don't well, try to distract what, this yourself. is what we talk about suppress it this is where we talk about the benefits of fasting yeah. that's this is one of the the number one things that i think and this is why i i definitely integrate it into everybody's diet routine or program mm -hmm. at one point you just have to be careful right you don't want to do it for lo weight loss right yeah. you, exactly that, and that right. i use it as a teaching tool like hey we're going to fast for 24 hours and it's not Let's see if we can get shredded doing this. It's getting comfortable with that exact feeling that you're talking about. But yeah, I, I, you know, there's to me, it's okay to have these these little hacks that that help you uh, uh, along the way. I mean, I oh, think drinking seltzer water that's a good one. That's yeah, that's, yeah like yeah, I was just gonna mention water. I mean, in general, like that, like nothing like fancy in terms of a hack, but that's something that I, especially at late night craving stuff, like when you're watching TV, like that will always pop up and that will be a mm -hmm. thing until, you know, you really can can sit through it and recognize it. And so I do that. I'll drink water, have something for my mouth to do, or like it'll help to kind of like suppress a little bit of the hunger. But, you know, after a while, it just becomes like less and less. I, I used to make a rule for myself also like that eat what I my body needs first. And then if I still want this thing, whatever it is that I'm craving, then I would allow myself a portion of whatever that is. And you'd be surprised how many times when we get these cravings, it's because we've just gone a long time without food or that's mm. that feeling setting in that your body's like, hey, we need some fuel. And because you maybe stretched it too long, mm. all of a sudden it's like, you know how that feeling is, right? When you eat consistently every few hours, it's a lot easier to stick to eating something that's balanced and maybe not the most you know, rich in calories. When you've gone for a long period of time, sometimes all of a sudden you go from, oh yeah, I want some chicken and rice and broccoli to oh, I'll eat anything. I'm so hungry and whatever you can get your hands on. Because so, your willpower, it's like it's waning. Exactly. It's been, it's been, you've been holding it for so long. So a lot of times if I, if I play this mental game of, okay, Adam, if you still are craving this thing after you eat the meal that you need because you're still behind, I haven't hit my protein intake yet. I haven't hit my, my fat, my carbon tank for the day go eat it and then ask yourself do you still have that craving a lot of times that craving subsides after you fuel your body with what it needs right, well here's another tip go to bed on time yeah, this is a big one i was gonna say go to bed early yeah even. go to bed or shut on the kitchen down yeah, I, like, yeah. I used to just go to bed dude Stay, like, staying tired. up late is a great recipe for disaster yeah when it comes to diet because we tend to want to eat late at night after we've had breakfast lunch and dinner but i you know at the end of the day i really think it's like we got to learn to be comfortable with uncomfortable feelings and you don't need to react with every impulse just because you feel uncomfortable. I got to put something in my mouth. Like 
sit with that feeling, get used to it a little bit, make friends with it, don't avoid it, don't distract yourself. Um, because at the end of the day, long-term success, I mean, short-term success, trip, you know, tricks and tips can help. Long-term success, got to change your mindset. There's no way yeah, around I it. I agree with you. You can't, yeah, you have to have a different mindset.